Welcome, welcome to the Dotted News Channel. Ladies and gents, my name is KG. Welcome back to the Dotted News Channel, where we prevent identity theft and embrace technology by upgrading our computerized skills. If it's your first time, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload a video again. Like as you can see here on the table, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to replace a broken LCD screen with a new LCD screen. All right. Um, you can get the LCD screen from any computer supplier within your respective towns. And if you're in Bloemfontein, I, uh, South Africa, I highly recommend computing company in Zaston Street. All right. So without any uh, wasting any time, uh, let's dive into it. So as you can see right here, we do have uh, the new screen. Um, the South African currency cost about 2,055 Rand. Um, it depends from brand to brand and model to model of the laptop. So um, you need to Google and check or go to those uh, specific vendors. So this is the new screen, it's been wrapped up um, and I'll be installing it in a bit. But there are some things that you need to check first, all right? What you will need is uh, some of the tools. As you can see, I have tools right here. You can also get them at these respective computer shops as well as our friends from um, other countries that have opened up their own businesses like laptop, like. Uh, Indian guys, for instance, Nigerian guys, you can also get the, uh, the components of a laptop from them if they are specific vendors that they have within your respective towns, all right? So these tools, you can get them there. Um, so basically here is the laptop, as you can see right here. Um, I have already disassembled the laptop and I'll be showing you guys some of the components so you be you, so that you can be able to see um, what um, what is the function of each all right so let me show you guys so please bear with me i do not have a top stand like top view stand for uh, my camera but as you can see this is the back side of the lcd screen and it has a connection point right here so this cable comes from the motherboard um, of the laptop, all right? Never mind the name. Let's give a shout out to Pulani for making me do this video, all right? Um, so I'm just going to show you guys some of the connections. As you can see right there, uh, that is the endpoint or the connection point of the LCD screen, as you can see right there. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a torch, but you can see some of the marks right there that it has been damaged, but I'm going to light it in a bit. Um, this laptop uses power supply. Um, it works like a, a home uh, PC. Um, she forgot to give me the battery. All right. So um, as you can see right here, this is the keyboard. We have the connection point of the keyboard, um, the connection point of the touchpad that's where the touchpad comes in as you can see right there comes from directly from there then we have the other part here it's a connection point for the power button when you switch on the button it sends a message to the motherboard to say hey please uh, wake up all right now a very important aspect that i need you to pay attention to is this cable now, as you can see, there is a cable right here. It runs, um, goes down um, to the back of the motherboard. There's another one down here, which is white in color. So it's a black and white um, cables. These cables are called an LCD cable. So basically what they do, they uh, provide uh, power to the laptop and the the screen all right as you can see right there it says an ox um, part of me it's upside down um, and then uh, with this one at the top um, it, it is written main right here all right let me just make it steady but it's written main as you can see right there all right now what i'm gonna do 
is I'm going to show you the back part or the back side of this specific laptop, all right? Let's try and close it a bit. Now here we have um, the RAM. You know what a RAM is and the um, hard disk drive. Now the cables that I was referring to, as you can see, they come from uh, the top part of the laptop to right here at the back at the small component. Now as you can see with the white stipulated aux and then right here it stipulates main, right? So they need to be connected in order for this whole laptop to uh, be able to work. Without them being connected, um, it won't work at all, whether you want to light it or not. Um, it's like, uh, for instance, you know, with a car, you have terminals, right? Um, it's the very same concept, uh, but the difference is that this is not the battery, all right? Um, it's a component that uh, helps the um, motherboard to get power, uh, to give power to every peripheral device, as you can see right here, all right? So, yeah, guys, um, that's about it. One thing that I forgot to mention in the intro um, is that normally when I get uh, some of my friends come and say, hey, my laptop uh, is giving me trouble, I do disassemble it and uh, write down uh, the name of the person for each and every component so that I don't mix them up. Um, and um, if you'd like uh, me to assist you, um, it's free of charge. I do it for the YouTube channel. Um, just uh, highlight me, but you buy the components for yourself. So this is a Lenovo uh, laptop, right? Uh, so if you want me to do a video for, uh, not a video per se, but fix your laptop, uh, just know that uh, the payback is being able to help other people know what they can do and how to connect the specific components of the laptop, right? So yeah, that's about it. You can hit me up um, on the details provided down in the description box. So now ladies and gents, I'm gonna be showing you um, how to connect the laptop, all right? Now, as you can see right here, it is that specific laptop that I was talking about. I'm just gonna come closer every time I want to uh, explain something. Um, there are brackets on this laptop, all right, that helps it to open and close. Now, when you open it up, always, usually, you need to be careful because these brackets, like these uh, metal brackets or steel brackets, as you can see them right here, um, you need to handle them with care because they are attached to the plastic cover of the laptop. Now, if you um, open it up roughly, you might end up breaking the plastic because uh, the steel is harder than the plastic, right? Um, now, first thing first, we need to make sure that the laptop still works because remember I disassembled the laptop, right? Now, I'm just gonna connect so that you can also see how damaged this um, LCD screen is, right? Kulana, I'm not trying to embarrass you, right? <laughs> I'm just trying to show the people what um, it looks like when it is damaged, right? So remember um, this specific um, input component there on the LCD screen, we're gonna take that cable, the gray cable, and connect it to the LCD screen so that we can see if the laptop is still working properly, all right? Now I'm just gonna put it like this, all right? Then I'm gonna connect to the charger because remember, Gulani uh, has the battery with her. Just bear with me because I might have missed something out. 
Um, guys, I was having a problem actually with um, uh, the laptop not lighting, right? So, but it, as you can see right here, um, it's broken, right? So I needed to test if um, the laptop is working. The problem with it not lighting, like you saw that the time when I, I tried to switch it on, it was because of um, a loose connection um, underneath, as you saw, uh, that I was trying to explain to you guys um, some of the components. So if the RAM is loose or the hard drive is loose, it won't light. So make sure that um, your, your components are connected to the motherboard properly. All right. So yeah, that's about it. Um, as you can see right there, um, it's broken. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch it off. Right, we have to switch it off and then disattach the charger and the old screen. All right, we needed to test if um, the screen does work or the laptop works. All right, because remember, this is the first time I'll be inserting. Or installing this new hardware component on the laptop all right they basically give you seven days to return it if ever um, the the LCD screen is wrong or um, the LCD screen is broken because anything can happen when it comes from the supplier right so I need to make sure that when I push in this cable to the LCD screen, it's tight and, and secure. All right. I need to make sure. Now, as you can see right there, down there below, I have connected the LCD screen, right? So I just come from getting a tape, but you don't need uh, too much of the tape, right? You just cut it out nicely. You can just cut it out nicely right there and use that small portion to just secure that specific part in order for it not to maneuver around because like i said at first it had um, like it sticked just to help the cable not maneuver around not sure if you'll be able to see it but uh, right there i have a connection point now next what we're gonna do is we're gonna light it up and see if it works before we mount the screen to the laptop. Let me switch it on. There, as you can see, it's lighting again. I just need to fix um, the hard drive and uh, maybe install Windows 10 again because it's a bit damaged again. Uh, but like I said, ladies and gents, be careful when you are handling the laptop because in, if you break any of the components, it's expensive, number one. Uh, number two, you might end up buying a new laptop. Like recently, I was fixing um, a power cable, not a power cable per se, but a power uh, where, you, where you press the power button for um, the, the laptop to light like this. Um, so I think the client, uh, what she did, she pressed it too much in. All right, and I had to go to computing and ask them for assistance, and we figured out that uh, the power supply unit, where you switch it on, it's been glued up uh, with the laptop itself, like the, the board itself. Handle the motherboard with care, because if you also um, like bend it a bit, it might not work. Uh, usually, even if it has a smaller crack. It doesn't work. The laptop doesn't work. And in order for you to replace a new one, it's highly exp expensive. All right. 
so guys thank you for watching this video um i hope you liked it if you want me to do more of these videos please use the comment section the details um, are down below you can whatsapp me or email me at the dot notes at gmail.com um, or on whatsapp where i have provided the numbers down below